In this lesson, I'm going to give you some advice on choosing suitable names for different parts of your website. File and folder names become part of a web page's URL, so choose wisely. Meaningful names make URLs that are easier to remember. They also help you with maintenance. It's also easier to remember shorter names. They're easier to type, too. Stick to lowercase characters. Linux servers are case sensitive, so using a mixture of uppercase and lowercase can lead to broken URLs. Certain characters are forbidden in file and folder names. Don't use any of these characters. Spaces are not permitted in URLs, so never use spaces in a website's file or folder names. If you leave a space in a file name like this, the space is replaced by a percentage sign followed by 20. It looks ugly and amateurish. If you want to separate two words, use an underscore or a hyphen. Even better, use a shorter name. When creating HTML files, Dreamweaver automatically uses the file name extension .html. You might see some sites use the older .htm instead. There's actually no difference between the two, but .html is now the universally accepted convention. Use the web server's default file name for the main page of your site. This is normally index.html, although some servers use default.htm. Check with your hosting company or server administrator to find which to use. Simply typing a URL like this results in the web server automatically sending the default page. It's a lot easier than typing out the full address like this. This also works with subfolders inside your site. There are two other main types of file that you'll frequently use. Style sheets should have the file name extension .css and JavaScript files normally use .js as the file name extension. HTML, CSS and JavaScript use many attributes and variables. The naming conventions are basically the same as for files and folders. Use only letters, numbers, hyphens or underscores. In other words, no spaces. Don't begin with a number or a hyphen immediately followed by a number. Above all, be descriptive. Choose meaningful names that describe what something is for rather than how it looks. This is particularly important when naming CSS classes. Don't use a name like Bold Red, because you'll have a nightmare on your hands if the colour scheme changes. Choose a name that describes the role of what you're styling. If you follow the naming conventions I've just outlined, your sites will be easier for users to navigate and for you to maintain. 